You're watching Tech Facts, a short introduction to spiral conveying technology. Welcome to one of the in-depth videos about the Cybo chain. If you haven't seen a general video yet, or would like to see the other in-depth videos about the subject, check them out at the link below or at the end of the video. A chain only wears when the links move relative to each other. There's no wear inside the spiral winding as the chain remains in the same position moving forward. This relative movement mainly occurs at the end roller, at the return section and at the top roller, where the chain bends. That's where the chain wears. In the best spiral conveyor designs, the tension at the chain is close to zero at the infeed. This is important because of the exponential chain tension buildup caused by the noose effect. It's the same effect that keeps those big ships steady at the dock by the use of a simple rope. Pre-tensioning will put exponentially more strain on the chain at each winding. Therefore, the lower the start tension, the less tension will build up. Other spiral designs pre-tension for various reasons. This results in a pre-tension chain at the infeed, progressively increasing to a very high chain tension at the outfeed, causing extreme wear at the sprockets. The Amberflex design doesn't need pre-tensioning. Two of the most important reasons why is that we have a chain that can be squeezed together without any issues and is a fully contained system. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.